So hello everyone, this video is special. We are going to learn how to make a connected stick. What is a connected stick? It's a stick equipped with sensors for measuring environmental data or for plant phenotyping. In this video, we will focus on a stick developed by Inrae in Plomaferon. Its unique quality is the ability to adjust the position of the sensors on the stick, configure it locally without wires, and receive data via a wireless connection. That's uh, the concept of the stick. Now, let's move on to the practical work. As you can see, the stick consists of a mast, a housing, and sensors. We will first assemble the two housing, then we will put together the parts to form our stick. So, for the first part of the video, we are going to focus on mounting the solar panel, the electronic box, and the camera box. For assembling the solar panel, we attach a support on top. Dans le fond, j'ai essayé, mais on va devoir. Cables were connected to the panels. Then we made an output with a BNC connector. Regarding the electronic box, we started by drilling 5 60.5 mm holes and 1 30.5 mm holes. Five holes were sealed with a cable lens and one with a port for the solar panel. For the electronic, we had a plastic base where a multiplexer was fixed. The multiplexer connects the cameras to the motherboard. We assembled the three electronic boards, I mean 
Raspberry card, Sensor card, and GSM card together and fix them on the base. The multiplexer and the measurement card were connected to the I2C port of the board. The assembly containing the multispectral and the LGB sensors was attached to the base. The LGB camera and the multiplexer were connected with a white ribbon cable. Then the multiplexer and the measurement card were connected with a new range ribbon cable. The battery was adhered to the base with double-sided tape. The lead and ignitor were connected to the spring terminal block. An electronic board for connecting the wind van and rain gauge was attached to the device. The multispectral camera board was fixed to the mounting pieces, which was then plastered back on the base. Finally, the solar panel port was connected with a cable to the sensor board on the screw terminal block. We completed our assembly by placing the base back in its housing. Now for the camera box, we had the camera, the circuit and the housing. The camera was mounted on the assembly piece. The connection cable was put through the cable gland and connected to the electronic board. The assembly piece was then fixed in its housing. The cable was connected to the electronic box, passed through the cable gland, and connected to the multiplexer. 
This is the downward looking camera output. Don't forget to attach the mounting bracket to the housing. So normally the electronic box, the solar panel and camera box are already assembled. That was to explain uh, how they were put together. From now on, you have the essential of your stick. You can start testing if the electronic box and cameras are working. So to do this, we plug it box into an electric coil outlet. Turn on the stick and then check an application to see if the camera is uh, if the camera are working. So now for the second part of the video, we will uh, assemble uh, all uh, electrical component. We have our electronic box, camera box and solar panel. We also have environmental sensors. Then we had to connect the sensors to the box. This simply involves adapting the sensor wires to the board. In this activity, some wiring and soldering are necessary. For the anonometer and rain gauge, we put the wires through the cable gland and connected them to the anonometer and rain gauge board with a bit of soldering for the connections. Then we connected this board to the sensor board on the I2C port. For other sensors like the PIR sensor, we just plug it the cable into the spring terminal block. So now, so now I present to you our uh, electronic uh, box. So in the end, we have our electronic box with all sensors connected. So now the part is the installation of our stick. It can be installed either indoors or outdoors. All that's left is a base to place your sticks on. Regarding the base, you can either make it yourself or purchase one. The goal is to have it on a stable base and well secure. For example, outdoors were used a screw-in stick that was purchased. Here, we inserted a stick using a kind of homemade screwdriver. We inserted it to a depth of uh, 65 centimeter and drill it trying to be perpendicular to the ground. The aim is to ensure stability for the stick and a parallel position of the camera pole to the ground. Once the hole was dug, we inserted, my, we inserted the stick, we installed the environmental we installed the environmental sensors the soil temperature sensors the watermark sensor for example when all elements of this stick are installed we can start connecting the battery to the solar panel and turn on the stick with a magnet next to the lead you can close the box and position the box at a 45 degree angle. Now we will configure the stick. To do this, we will use our phone. The configuration is done on a web service accessible on the network of the stick. We connect to the stick network called PKFAC. We enter the stick password. Then we go to the web service, we enter the URL link.
and there we are on the website. The web service offers a live image feed from the two cameras, which help in checking for any collection, for any connection or camera issues. There are three main uh, configuration settings in the application. First, we have the time start stamping uh, setting to update the text, date, and time displayed on the top left corner of the interface. We have uh, image acquisition settings to set the number of images, the time for capturing them, the number of cameras to activate, and to select the sensors considering which ones are actually connected to the stick. We have a measurement interval, the time period for accruing environmental data, GPS coordinate, which can be uh, sourced from a phone, and server identity for uh, data import requiring uh, FTPS server setup. There are also options to download data to a phone, add a sensor data, or a comprehensive folder for data visualization. Finally, there are two buttons, validate to save information and start data acquisition while keeping the web service and stake acti active, and validate and turn off to save settings, start acquisition, and turn off the stick, making the service inaccessible. Here we enter our parameters. We will validate et éteindre and then wait for the measurement to be taken. Uh, so here we will focus on the uh, visualization interface. So regarding the interface, it's uh, good. I will just show you a few screenshots of the interface. It was developed by Inray of Clément Ferrand. To access the visualization, you first need to log in with your server and your ID. On it, you can do a lot of things. For example, view the position of the stack, uh, view the volume of data accurate over time. For images, you can view the images captured over the period you want. The good thing is that you can view images from multiple stacks and also know their position, always for the period you want. Here you can compile uh, data on a single timeline. Finally, you can view environmental data over time for a stick. For a single stick, you can view any environmental data on a single graph. And you can now the time of images captured at the same time as the environmental data. Obviously, on this interface, you can download your data over a period of time you wish directly from your PC. So now uh, this video is over. So uh, thank you for your attention.